What is the scariest thing that happened to you when you were home alone? I was home alone at my dad's while he was working nights, making my dinner and everything. I was probably about 14 or 15 at the time. I was watching TV while my potatoes were cooking when I had something slam into the front door. I grab my pocket knife and check it out, nothing. About 10 minutes later I hear another bang on the front door, repeat and still nothing. Really freaked me out cause we'd had a few houses get broken into on my street. The scariest thing that happened to me I didn't know actually happened until the following day. I lived in an apartment in a not so good part of a dangerous city with my boyfriend who worked nights. One day our friend came over and called me to let him in our building in a hurry. Turns out this guy had been crouched by my car in the parking lot and had approached our friend and closed it on him. My friend pulled out a weapon and the guy ran off. Upstairs I noticed that the guy had left a green bundle near my car and assumed he would be back for it. It made me uncomfortable so I suggested we call the cops. Not five minutes after a cop showed up to ask where the guy had gone SWAT, K9, and about 10 cars showed up and swarmed our area. Turns out the guy had escaped from county the night before with two other guys. He was in jail for assault with a deadly weapon and repeated domestic violence offenses. He had climbed the fence in the yard behind our building where our landlord kept his camper, broken into the camper, and stayed there the night before. He had stolen all the electronics out of it as well as a butcher knife and was trying to break into my car before my friend showed up. I had been alone the night before and had taken my dog down to the yard to go to the bathroom. I noticed that the barbed wire on the top of the fence had fallen down, and my dog was nervous. But I brushed it off. The guy had been in the camper watching me the whole time and I never knew it. Was working pretty late, re, 2 a.m on my computer when I get an alert from my security camera that detected motion. I checked it and there was a person staring into my apartment window in full view of where I was working. I closed the computer, turned off the lights and went into the bathroom for a bit. Turns out being extra paranoid when someone is staring into your apartment at 2 a.m. isn't a good combination. I checked the camera memory and the guy was there for 20 minutes, just real casual. Called the cops and the kid ran away and came back an hour later. Haven't seen him since. Was home alone one night and it was close to Halloween in 2015. Loud ass knock on the front door. I was eating dinner, so I slowly but cautiously go to the front door. Open it up and there is blood all over the front porch and no one there. Kind of freaked out a bit thought it was a prank. Called the cops because what the duck you know. They said they would send someone there. They called back and said someone was on a bike and fell and was bleeding bad and was going door to door asking for help. I missed the person, but one of my neighbors helped them out apparently crazy. I was a young kid home alone and my mom called the phone and said a tornado was coming and I had to go shelter in the basement. The basement was incredibly creepy, especially as a child. I never went down there on my own. So little old me grabs my toy lantern to descend into the basement all alone with rain hitting the windows, with only the flicker of my toy lamp to light up my surroundings while I make my way to the boiler room and shelter in place until someone comes to get me. Imagine that. Just sitting there in the darkness listening to all of the sounds for something like two hours. Ducking freaky. Turns out the tornado missed us by miles. It was about 8.30 at night and I heard the front door open. I called out from my room asking why my mom and dad were home only a half hour after they left for dinner. I almost shit my pants and straight up jumped out of my bedroom window when a random male voice replied, What? There's somebody in here? Turns out it was somebody who got hired to check on one of our neighbor's dog when they were on vacation and he got the wrong house address, but the raw fear that gripped me when I heard his voice still gives me nightmares. I was probably 9 years old, my sister was 6. We had a babysitter who was 12, so alone in the sense that no adults were around. Jackass that I was, I squirted bug spray on my sister and she chased me in retaliation. I ran through some French glass doors to get away from her. She went for the knob and missed. Her arm went through one of the glass panes. She cut herself so deep, you could see muscle, tendons, and bone. It looked like a shittily cut piece of raw meat, since that's basically what it was. The babysitter held a piece of cloth on my sister's arm until my mom came home, called her right away, and took my sister to the ER. She didn't hit an artery so it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but it was scary as duck at the time. Got 60 stitches out of it. 
someone tried to break into my neighbor's house while I was babysitting their kids. I was 15 and I used to babysit for my neighbors down the block. They had a really nice house, three floors with a built-in garage under the house, that connected to the basement. It was the family's most used entrance of the house and they rarely locked the basement door as long as the garage was closed. They also had the type of security system where any time a door opens you heard beep beep beep. After the parents left one night I was putting the kids to bed and I heard the beep beep beep. I yelled out, thinking it was the parents coming back for something but no one answered. The system on the wall kept reading basement door open. I was freaked out so I called my dad and asked him to come by since he was only a few houses away. When he arrived, he told me to stay in the kitchen while he checked the house but before he could, we heard the beep 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 again and then the garage door opened, when we ran to the window to see if the parents were pulling into the driveway, they weren't. Instead someone in a hoodie was running out of the garage door and into the woods behind the house. My dad ended up calling the cops. I'm still creeped out by it. It was a hot summer and my parents went to a wedding. I had a project to do and it was like 1am and silent until a random drunk dude crawled in through my window with a bottle and blush face. I was 20 feet away at my desk from the window and we both just stared at each other. He was flustered and said oh sorry there kid wrong house and attempts to leave the way he came. He was drunk and dizzy so I helped him by pushing him out the window. I thoroughly shuddered and stared at it for 2 hours until my parents came home. Not super scary but one time when I was like 11 I was home alone at night and got a call from the local sheriff's office who told me they just had a dropped 911 call from this number, my house landline, and asked if I was okay. I didn't call them. Nobody else was home to call them. Once while I was home alone, I had been warned not to answer the door, for anyone, or I might get taken away. One sales guy had been banging on the door repeatedly for the last 6 minutes. I guess I hadn't muted the TV fast enough. He screamed I know you're home alone in there. I about died. I heard gunshots when I was home alone for the first time as a 12 year old. Turns out my neighbor was a murderer. At least 12 cop cars and like 2 fire trucks showed up and I thought it was the end of the world. For me, I was 12 years old and my dad was at his girlfriend's house. I went into my room to take a shower. I always put a chair under the door handle in my room because it didn't have a lock. My grandma loved giving me porcelain dolls and she decorated my room with shelves that had porcelain dolls on them. All of the dolls were on their shelves before I got into the shower. When I exited my bathroom, one of the porcelain dolls was 10 feet across the room, face down on the ground. This doll must have flown across the room to have landed where it did. Also, the doll was not broken. Needless to say, my grandma was sad that all of the dolls were packed up and put in the attic for safekeeping. The lights turned off all at once while I was in the kitchen. It was pitch black. I heard the door open. For some reason instead of thinking power outage my brain went to someone has cut the power and is coming to kill me. I grabbed the landline, the knife and was crouched behind the kitchen counter hearing steps come through the house, trying to breath as quietly as possible. Then I hear my mom go hello? Anyone home? The power went out by chance at the exact moment she came in the door. That would have been an awkward hospital trip. My girlfriend and I both travel a lot for work so it's not unusual for only one of us to be home on any given week. Last fall she was in San Francisco and I was home alone for a few days. We live in an apartment on the top floor of a building. Above us is a roof with a deck available to everyone. Middle of the night I get up to use the bathroom and on the walk back to bed I look over to the study. There's a sliding door in the study leading to a balcony. I immediately stop dead in my tracks. I see the outline of a person standing on my balcony, facing me. I run over, hit the lights, grab a knife from the knife block and start dialing 911. The person is a kid, no more than 16. He sees me hit the lights, grab a knife and my phone and he immediately grabs the railing on my balcony and flings himself over. I run over, assuming I just watched someone kill themselves only to see him safe and sound on the balcony below me. He then hurdles off that balcony. He's jumping from floor to floor. He hits the parking lot in the back of our building safely and then sprints off. Cops finally come and break up a party on the roof. Turns out he was just a drunk friend of someone on the second floor and got dared to do it. Also shout out to my dog for being asleep 15 feet from the balcony and not doing anything. 